Born in India in 1947, Salman Rushdie studied at King's College, Cambridge, before working as a copywriter for an advertising agency. His first novel, Grimace, was published in 1975, with the acclaimed Midnight's Child following in 1981. But it was Rushdie's fourth novel, The Satanic Verses, in 1988, that led to worldwide controversy, accusations of blasphemy against Islam, and death threats from some Islamic groups. After months in which I've been trying to hold out the hand of friendship and explain to people that I'm not an enemy of Islam and in many ways have been for many years an ally of Islamic, of the rights of Muslims in Kashmir or Palestine or here, um, what's happened is, is somebody has taken that hand and, and clasped it and the somebody who has done so is no less than the supreme religious authority of the Sunni Muslim world, that's the Grand Sheikh of Al-Azhar in Cairo, who is the ultimate authority for 90% of the world's Muslims. Um, and what he has done is to give me his blessing and to say, if I may paraphrase, that the past should be considered, so to speak, a closed book. So now we're in a position here, we are on New Year's Eve, it's a new year, we are being told by the supreme religious authority that this matter is dealt with. Following the publication of the Satanic Verses, the Orthodox Iranian leadership issued a fatwa against Rushdie in 1989, effectively a death sentence and the writer was forced into hiding. Um, there's no doubt that the worst part of the last couple of years has been that my son has been obliged to be without a father for two years. And I have a great responsibility there, and it seems to me that I have to do something about that. And I'm sure that, you know, most Muslims in this country would understand that there is an innocent victim in this, and that, they, and that it's time that, you know, that he was allowed to have a father. Rushdie's Midnight's Children won the Booker Prize for fiction, and the Satanic Verses picked up the Whitbread Novel Award. While in hiding, Salman Rushdie continued to write and publish books and was elated to get back in touch with his readers. Uh, well, because I think I've been wanting throughout this period, step by step, to regain my life and the ability to come out, as it were, to publish a book as an ordinary writer does, to meet my own writer, my, my own readers, is a, a, it's an enor enormously important and emotional moment. I'm very thrilled. For his literary achievements and for the controversy surrounding them, Salman Rushdie has become one of the most prominent novelists of the late 20th century. Over his 30-year career, he has received almost every literary award and become somewhat of a symbol of free speech. But how did he cope living under the shadow of death threats? I have tried as far as possible to live without fear. You know, I think, I think the, the problem of fear is that it paralyzes you. you know, and, and, uh, and I think many people, not just me, but many people who have had, uh, who have had to face threats have found that you really have only two options. You either kind of sit in the corner and shake, or you get on with your life. Rarely seen without a striking woman on his arm, here, former model Carol Ann Javakoli accompanies Rushdie at the Booker of Booker Awards. Rushdie was awarded a knighthood for his services to literature in the Queen's Birthday Honours in 2007. In response, many nations with Muslim majorities protested. Some non-Muslims were disappointed by Rushdie's knighthood believing that the writer did not merit such an honor. However, Sir Rushdie said he was thrilled and humbled to achieve such a great honor. It's, it's very nice, uh, as you say, to, to, to be recognized for, for the right reason, that's to say for, for work and for writing and for the things that, that I actually have dedicated my life to. So, uh, so I'm, very, uh, I'm very proud of that. Mass demonstrations against Rushdie's knighthood took place in Pakistan and Malaysia. Several called publicly for his death. Novelist, essayist and screenwriter, Salman Rushdie still lives a sheltered life, despite being one of the most awarded writers of our time.